Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, episode of Unlimited Adventures. So we uh, think we're going to be able to beat this game tonight. Uh, I think we are pretty close to the end. Uh, last dungeon, I guess we're going to call it dungeon. It's actually part of another dungeon, so I'm not sure if uh, this dungeon will go multiple levels or, um, or what, but we'll find out. So, uh, he'll be doing that. So it might be a quick stream, it might not. Uh, not entirely sure um, how this final map is going to be laid out. But I do know that the uh, last uh, boss that we fought was pretty tough. So I imagine this final boss is going to be extremely difficult. So we'll see how, uh, how things play out here. So hello everyone, hope everyone is having a good uh, a good Monday. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's get the game started here. So uh, let's go. Let's go and do that. Let's see. Yeah, if we do uh, end up beating this today, this will be the first game I will beat in uh, 2020 here. Because we've been playing a lot of uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, which is a very long game. So let's go and... Play a load, let's uh, load A, of course. So I think we are uh, all ready to uh, hop into this dungeon here. So let me just uh, double check a couple of things here. So we only had uh, one death so far, Alice died once, and we had a resurrector. So it looks like we're good. I need to get my map out so I can actually see what was going on here. So we are using a good cartographer to map this, which has some auto uh, auto tracking abilities. So, all right, so let's enter here. So we've already been through here uh, partway. So if we keep going down south here. This will lead to, I uh, imagine it'll be the final dungeon. I have no idea uh, what's gonna be behind this door. Let's save our game. The three keys fit perfectly into the door that the party open it and continue forward. So uh, through this campaign we've uh, collected a bunch of keys and uh, these, you need all the keys to unlock the door. So pretty much have to uh, complete the other dungeons first. Yeah, I kind of figured it was going to take us to a new dungeon. Kinda of figured that was gonna happen. So this dungeon is called Biopass. So it's kinda of like in the middle here. Interesting, okay. So on a map, we probably wanna put I guess stairs down, I guess. Kind of weird how they did that. Uh, 
Okay, so... The stairs are gonna go, uh... Right up here. There seems to be a hidden invisible wall here that we can't uh, bypass. So we're just gonna put a wall here. Cause we can't get past that. Zoom in a little bit here. Oh, I just thought mapping us out. See what kind of enemies we're gonna place down here. Since we're in a fire pit, uh, uh, the uh, fire path, I'm not even gonna fight fire dragons. Uh, f enemies are dealing with fire, so it's probably salamanders and uh, red dragons, probably. So, got that. So I'm going to go south here. So we have some doors here. So we're kind of like in the middle, so... Let's continue to go south. The party startles a shadowy figure who darts off to the south. Alright, so let's probably not go that way yet. Ah, so this takes us... This takes us to the other entrance that we can get into. So, yeah, let's uh, do the same thing here. So this dungeon might be really small. So, um, yeah, this is gonna go stairs up. Oh, let's go north then. This gonna be another stairs, I think, stairs to take me somewhere else, or this guy's gonna let me go through here. So let's put that there. Let's see what happens. We move on to the square. All right, so. Furnishing in this cave, a large pedestal embedded in the ground, catches the party's attention. The crystal on top of the disc begins to glow, and an image of a beautiful woman appears. It looks like she is in a fancy part of the same cave system as the party is in, but no locations immediately come to any party member's mind. Alright, so there is another, yet another, which I didn't even know this was even a thing here. So, yeah, we have another stair down here. So, okay, so there's only like one way to go here. <laughs> one way to go. It looks like no enemies here either. Hello there, Baxian Wise. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the uh, host as well. So, let's uh, do that. Oh, let's 
go in this room here. A small plate in the floor clicks as the party steps into the cave. From behind, the ceiling collapses, blocking the escape route. Oh boy. One way entrance here. So this could be bad. This could be bad. There's no escape. So we cannot leave this place. So this is gonna be an interesting dungeon. But then again, there's no fights in here, so... I haven't met anybody, uh, anybody to attack me yet. Calmly at the end of the cavern. When the party notices him, he turns and rocks slowly down the south passage. Almost daring pursuit. Uh, he's luring me into a trap. That's what he's doing. He is luring me into a trap. The party has discovered a secret door to the south. So, secret door to the south. The passageway passes through an underground lava tube. The heat from the walls is almost overwhelming. Mm, boy. Well, we just survived in hell. Uh, I'm going west here. Oh, going the wrong direction here. Alright, let's uh, put that little door there. A dark figure vaguely resembling a minotaur disappears around the corner. Ooh. Looks like uh, we'll be fighting uh, minotaur final boss. Oh, look at that. There's a skull in the uh, wall there. Alright. Keep going, there's no fights in here, so... Salamanders further on the North Passage and attack! Oh, you got a first battle of the day? Got ice storm here. Oh, uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Bad position here. Oh, right, we got the first salamanders dead. So 
uh, you're probably better off attacking since uh, you double damage against uh, creatures bigger than you. Some salamanders. What's the part that I didn't have that using the fire breath attack? Did you have a fire attack? them come to me. Seventeen hundred and ninety-three. We got a helmet. Hello, hundred player. Uh, overloaded. So this uh, stairs to another level. Oh, this is another room. Salamander further down the hall when attack. damage yeah these salamanders are pretty easy compared to that drought that we fought the last time uh, these guys are uh, not so bad oh uh, the fire damage I was uh, talking about earlier Uh, 
nothing in this little room here. Uh, let's keep following the path. There's only like a single way to go, so. Alright, nothing in this corner. my game and the B here since uh, this is a dungeon is a one-way uh, entrance and there's no way out so once we're in this dungeon you cannot get back out footsteps heard to the southern door fade off to the east so we can go south or we can go north let's go south Not a lot of enemies down here. I mean, we had two. We had uh, one back-to-back -back encounters, but that's about it with the uh, salamanders here. Let's go west because it's probably going to take us back around. Let's get this all mapped out here. There doesn't seem to be a lot of enemies down here. It makes me a little nervous of the uh, final fight here. Uh, that goes like that, I think. A massive ball of flame erupts out of the ground and takes shape. The fire elementals attack. Ooh. Oh, there's one fire elemental. Uh, oh, funny, Braxton. Funny. One fire elemental. Oh, these guys are a little dangerous. Not too bad, though. Especially since I'm hitting pretty good now. Yeah, well, if you don't fight Drow, I think the final fight can be fairly easy. 821 XP, you got platinum here. You got a Coke. So, nothing of great interest there. So I guess we're gonna go back and explore the other path if that leads to a dead end. Party tumbles in the den of fiery salamanders. They hiss explosively and attack. All right, another battle here. Oh, we only got three of these guys, really. Three of these guys.
Yeah, I'm surprised you're not taking damage from walking down here. Oh, uh, we're not taking any damage for uh, walking in these fiery halls. Zena or I guess Zena would be probably better since she can Oh you killed it, so uh, seven hundred and eighty-nine Got a little bit of platinum Got a quarter staff probably magical Oh right, yeah it is a dead end Hellhound, leap down the corridor to leap to attack. Uh, doggies here. Maybe the ice storm here. Fight could be a little dangerous. Taking the beating here. Stop breathing on me! Uh, cool Moon is just getting whacked here right now. There we go. Nice! Round up. Twenty-five. Kill serious wounds. Really, only here for three hit points. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, too critical. That's better. All right, that's uh, we'll save as B. Right. 
Running footsteps echo from the east. The east might be the right way to go. Save. So let's go west. So we have uh, Like you got one of these, and then uh, like that. Put that there. And then we have the skull looking at us. The party has discovered a secret door to the north. One damage. Oh, we got thirty five. Might have to rest. Uh, these giants hurt. This is uh, the Divinity Original Sin. Yeah, I should uh, probably change that. Thank you for pointing that out. Give me one second here. Uh, yeah, you're not used, used to switching between uh, games. Change that. Usually I just use Steam and Retro. But since I'm playing Divinity, there's since uh, so I've been using that. Uh, let's go. Retro. Alright, there we go. That should be changed now. They should be hanging out in Let's Roll again. Alright, let's go finish killing off these giants. Alright. Almost 3,000. Uh, we can keep going for a little bit longer anyway. Yeah, 
of a map. Let's map this out. Not sure yet we can rest down here. So we're gonna go down here. A pack of huge dogs chewing up on something disgusting leaps up and attacks the party with hellish abandon. Oh boy. Oh, there's only two doggies here. Two doggies. Yeah, so far the set encounters have been pretty easy and the random encounters have been really nasty. Alright, uh, nothing in this secret area here. I wonder if I can rest here. Let's save, uh, we'll save this on the siege. Oh, uh, we can't rest here. allow me to all right so yeah let's uh continue on here so we'll, uh, what we'll do is if we can't rest anywhere and the final fight can be really hard i'll just throw it up uh, my uh b save and we'll show you to the straight the fight from there Filled with a group of fire giants, they rush forward to attack. More. Uh, oh, there's a lot of fire breathing boys here. Uh, no more uh, ice storm. So, Gold Moon could be in a little bit of a trouble here. Last ice storm. Oh, twenty damage. These guys hurt. These guys hurt a lot. And we're missing too. I gotta love my long sword versus long giants. That is awesome sword. All right, let's uh, move in here. Here. 
Very nice. One more foul giant left. Taking quite the beating here. No treasure, we almost got 5,000. And can't rest here. Now this should be a uh, solid wall here. I don't want to fight any more giants. Crashing forward out of the flame, the group of giant fire giants attacked viciously. Mm. Uh, there's only three of them this time. Kill these giants here. Yeah, three is a good number to have. All right, another fire giant dead. Alright, almost 2,000. I got a sword sword here, which is useless. Can we rest here? Nope. But we'll make a save as C. So that is all for that area. Can't rest anywhere yet. Okay. Nothing here. Check and see if I can rest. Imagine it telling me if I can rest anywhere. Alright, this is the correct path here. As the party enters the intersection, the walls explode with flame. In the center of the tempest, several Ifriti and a fire elemental take shape and attack. Ho ho ho! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Gold Moon is in deep trouble. Uh, Hold monsters. Uh, can't see those. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you got a guard. Okay, the free team can uh, hit pretty hard. Oh, you missed. So you can get yourself out of there. So 
You gotta be conservative with my magic since I cannot rest in here. Oh, you missed. this guy out. That's good. Let's move you out of the way. This guy is not the uh, whole hell does he know? Take out this last guy and then we'll open up the uh, north corridor here. So the whole monster spell saved my butt here. Oh uh, yes, sure. Oh, I got six platinum. All right, so if we head south, we'll leave the dead end. So let's head south. So hopefully we can find a place to rest somewhere. The tower begins to climb gently upwards. Mm. Cold air blows down the tunnel from up ahead. So this might be the right way to go. Uh, let's save and see. A big flick figure flipped off to the south. Uh, this, uh... Might lead to the end. Or not. Oh, this is gonna lead off the map here. Ahead lies a narrow, twisted passage of treacherous footing and uncertain stability. There are recent traces of a traveler in the passage that the party follow. Uh, let's not do that yet. Let's explore the other uh, molten. So we can't actually rest in here either, so that kind of sucks. Fire blast up in the walls and take shape. Uh, crap. 
That's only three of them. Well, I should bring my uh, ranger up. Missing is not good. Uh, I like when I hit twice. Two thousand and one. All right, let's just see what's up here. Slithering out of large holes in the wall, salamanders attack the party. So we got a couple more extra combats in here. Why did everybody decide to attack Gold Moon? Whoops. Alright. Another dead Salamander. More likely not. So, um, oh, that's right. Battle Rocks is his uh, two handed weapon. So that leads to dead end. And we can't rest here either, right? Nope. Alright, oh, let's go back to here. The party has reached an area of ancient work stone. The passage behind is collapsing and does not appear possible to return. Oh, poop. We can't go back this way. Alright, so we are now in the keep in the end game. So, um, yeah. Oh, I think I know where we're at. So we can actually rest in here. So, uh, let's save. But I think that was the level that that, that was the uh, level that was stuck in the uh, keep, if I'm not mistaken. So let's uh, fix. Nope, we can't rest here. Then the dwellers keep out of the gloom, turn off the party's rest. Oh, we got these guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, black and white walls are definitely a lot less burning. Definitely a lot less burning here. Whoops, I wanted to attack though. Yeah, 360. A wall slides across the passage a few yards to the north, narrowly missing a fugitive character who is no longer anywhere to be seen. Or saving the sea still. Secret passage to the uh, north. Alright, there is a level on the east wall, but it's jammed. It doesn't seem to be any way to free it. So, this is, we're back in the keep now. But the question is where is this figure? And where is he heading? Wait. Uh, talk? The purple worms have evidently decided to clear the passage by devouring the party. Oh wow, that's a lot of worms. Can be a little wormy in here. And these guys are uh, a little bit dangerous. So my mouth because I haven't been able to rest anywhere. Well, luckily we get to fight one at a time. Poison, but you only have one hit point, and I really don't have the healing for that right now. I knew I did something evil, and that was it. So let's go ahead and load our save game. See if we can actually rest. No. Nope. We're gonna try a couple times to rest too. But it doesn't look like uh, we're given an opportunity to rest at all. What? Right. 
just keep going here. Alright. Let's try retreat. Ah, oh, Papa Worm did not pursue the party. Alright. I wonder if we're gonna still see them when we go up this way. Nope. Nice. Alright, so the retreat option actually helps here. Yeah, conserve our resources here. Only fight the fight that we need to fight. This is gonna be small, unpleasant creatures scuttle on the foot and overhead. Large, unpleasant creatures shuffle up behind them and attack. Uh oh. Uh, we got here. Oh, we got these shambling mounds. That's it. All right, just a couple shambling mounds. Wow, these guys are pretty nasty. So, they only take half damage from weapons. So, let's shoot a uh, bow. Be better to hit with the uh, weapon than with the bow and arrow. Of course, if you can not miss. Shaving mounds are uh, quite dangerous. They hit pretty hard and often. And you only do half the damage. I'm going to surrender. I will take that. Fight everyone always. Uh, that's not the way to success. That's the way to certain doom there, Hunter Pro. That is the way to certain doom. Certain doom. All right. Um. I wonder if we're gonna have to go down south here. Now which way do we go? Um. Ah, oh, secret door to the north. So that wasn't here before. Hey there, Jimmy Calamaro. Welcome to the stream. Let's go ahead. This small chamber does not appear to have been visited for a very long time. It may be safe to rest here. Hallelujah. I found a resting spot. Finally. Alright, so we uh, made it through the entire dungeon and a little bit more. Without, uh, without dying, so it's good. So 
So let's uh, mark this. Same as the keep that we were in a while ago. So oh, we're gonna go north, we go east. Uh, the wrong direction here. She thinks it's different than uh, it's like a dead end up here. No, nothing up down here. Another quiet area here, not too many enemies here. There's a nest of serpents here, they do not seem to be enjoy being disturbed. Uh, it should be an easy battle here. Snakes are dead. 960 XP. Oh, that's the jewelry out of that. Chainmail and a longsword. Probably don't need this, but we'll take this anyway. Oh, we have a random encounter here. Got the beetles. Since we know we have a spot to rest, we can use some magic here. most of them. I wonder where the big fight's gonna take place at. Ah, oh, wait for him to come to me here. Oh, no, he's gonna come up and surrender. Bow to my might! 360 XP.
Calling the undead. And nope. No XP. So you get no XP for turning uh, enemies. An Umber Hawk crawls through the wall when it attacks the party. Just one Umber Hawk. now than there were in the uh, past. A shadowy figure stopped at the corner ahead and party for a moment, then seemed to fade into the darkness. Uh, how long, much longer are you gonna run? You can run, but you cannot hide. The passage here is choked with thick, sticky spider webs. Um, let's see what I did. Cut the web, burn the web, diggle the web. We'll wait for the. Uh, let's burn it. Soon the webs are blaze and thick clouds of choking smoke fill the corridor. I wait. Spiders appear out of the darkness to assail the party. Should have saved it, because this is going to be nasty. Yeah, the enormous spider. Giant spider dead. Spiders are dangerous because they can poison, and poison in this game is pretty deadly. Oh, what? 953 and no treasure. way. That is a dead end. Save under A since we have a place to rest. A uh, random encounter here. Oh, the rats. problem to keep.
Warte, bin ich easy hier. One walk and they're dead. Taking care of it, you got whopping 18 experience points. Go north. Take them out. Yeah, these guys can actually paralyze you, so they're not that easy. Uh, paralyzation this game can uh, lock things up for us. Okay. 180. Albers are taking residence here. Oh, lovely owls. These guys can suffocate you. Give you a big old hug. But at this level, they're pretty easy. Definitely uh, strange creatures. Uh, I don't need that stuff. Yeah, they have the power to hug you. Hug you until you suffocate. Oh, a hideous floating form appears here and says, Ah, I was just instructed to expect visitors. You were so prompt. How delightful. How delicious you will be! The Beholder attack. Uh, did not save it recently. Is he final boss? Uh, no, he might be the final boss. Magic doesn't work against him, so... yeah.
Oh, Carmen got away. That's not good. Probably gonna be low unless this is the final fight. If it's not the final fight, then I'll we'll reload. Not if it is, then it uh, doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna hit up one more time. Well, I lost all my uh, fighters, so I'm gonna have to reload. Alright, so there is a, uh, a beholder here. Not sure if it's the final fight or if there's more to it. too far off here, so uh, let's uh, save here. Well, cast prayer. I can always go back to that resting spot if I need to heal, uh, get some different spells. I don't think I have anything here. Oh, I behold a round two. So I'm gonna get everybody involved because it really doesn't matter. Um, because all we're gonna do is cast magic. It doesn't really attack. Um, 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 you use the darts, I guess. Uh, I guess you can't use darts. So you don't have any uh, physical weapons. All right, talk to the bare hands. myself. Let's go back and see if I can fix myself. The common can be resurrected, it'll be good. Nope, can't get it back up. Oh, reload. So that can be a little tricky. Keeping everybody alive.
Cause I don't have the, uh, I don't have all the spells needed to, uh, what is that from, uh, being stoned. So, might need to cast haste. Well, we just have to survive, like, a couple rounds. Wonder what else I got here. Um, maybe we will get rid of the shield because the shield is not going to help much. Um, get the battle axe. So 1d8 plus 13, and what's the dong sword? They're about the same. I might as well just use the, uh, keep the, uh, no. See if you have uh, any other uh, better weapons. Two hands. So one d eight plus eight. One d one d ten plus eight, which is better. Uh, anything better than that? Uh, nope. Misses though. Actually, I want to move my line. Uh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, wow, double hit. Uh, maybe. One uh, beholder dead. Yeah, this is my uh, third try. And uh, kill him without anybody dying. 2400 and no ex no uh, treasure, so save. And that was not the final fight. That was just a fight with a beholder. Yeah, no such thing in this game. No such thing in this game. Well, I should probably make a note of that. Um, big monster though. All right. Nothing up there. So you get through here. Let's uh, put the door there. Don't think you went to the door. But we'll see. Let's uh, map this part out at least. Here. Oh, got the random encounter here. Uh, 
Hey there, McGavin DK. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we're just chasing somebody down the hallway here. Guys, here, the garbage creatures. Contest with the party's continued progress. Okay, this might be the right way to go here. These guys are a little nasty. And these guys also hurt. Oh, 32 damage. Mm, mm. Fireball, please. Yeah, Carmen is just getting ripped to pieces right now. Let's get the. Uh, Uh, Longsword versus Giants. Shield plus three. Uh, another fireball. Out. Yeah, these guys hit very hard. Got 30 damage a hit. Up to up to 30 damage. So we can go east. Let's uh, take what I had back. Well, let's head back to west. Whites. Okay. And it's a hill. A resting spot. Get our spells back here. So we can, uh,
Go on a full strength here. Uh, we'll use a fireball here. We'll be alright. Uh, let's go and light these guys up. So I don't know already. The fireball is all needed for these guys to know who's boss around here. Uh, 1,152 XP. Uh, you're cool with them, but I'm not cool with them. Especially if they want to try to kill me here. Alright, save. Let's go east first. This is going to lead to a dead end or a fight, one or the other. A dust has recently been disturbed here, particularly near the southern wall. Alright, another resting area. Staircase up here. Uh, not yet. Whoops, I went up there anyway. Oh, no, I didn't. So, okay. Let's get out here. So, uh, secret. Put in a uh, staircase here. No, those are something else. Um, I know there's a rust monster. But I don't know what the uh, monster called to eat gold and gems though. Nothing over there. More random encounters here. Got bug faces here. Done with the keep. Or at least the part of the keep that has enemies usually. Uh, 
Tony Sarandos. 180 and no treasure. Uh, both of those are uh, dead ends. So we can either go take the stairs up or we can go to that door. Let's go to the door, I guess. I think these lead to the, the cells. Because you have to bash it. I would suspect that uh, we gotta take these staircases here. Uh, lots of these nasty guys. Uh, we've got a fireball here. These guys should all die. Oh, one's gonna survive. Two gonna survive. They're probably gonna surrender. No, nope, they're gonna fight to the death. and a new treasure. This cellar is full of old junk guys well as various slithering creatures. Take the door to the east. Uh, I'm going to face the wrong direction here. Um, so east. Okay. There is a secret door here. I know where I'm at, kind of, sort of. Secret door. I have no idea where I'm going now because uh, I haven't seen any texts yet for a while. So let's see if it's in this room. This is the burial room. Did not deserted vampires attack the party. Hmm. This could be bad. Uh, magic missile. Magic missile finishes one vampire. No, 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 no. Um, I'm not sure if we can, if she can end everything. We gotta keep half and whole person. We might have to reload here. That's probably quicker to reload than wait for the charm, charm to wear off.
Oh, this is going on a lot longer than I was expecting. Long dungeons. Not many uh, difficult fights. But still have no idea uh, like uh, where the uh, end boss is going to actually end up being. So where are we at here? Yeah, we're here. Save it before we enter here. Uh, it's the magic missile. Well, we should be able to. Uh, yeah, that 100% charm is not good. As long as Golden Moon doesn't get charmed, we can uh, pull it off. But if Golden Moon gets charmed, we have no way of recovering. I guess it's kind of random when the uh, vamps uh, attack. Um, yeah, we're probably dead here. We can't really handle all these vamps. Uh, fireball. That's a good number on them. Uh, magic Spell magic. All right. Oh, I got almost three thousand in the treasure. Closet, of course, we're back here again. And, um, yeah, not sure. Let's go back, down, up, I don't know. I think we're going back up here. This on the map. Oops, it's gonna be here. So now we are in the uh, 
quarters here. A good friend ran off to. So let's head this way a little bit. The World Warden family is conferring at the center of the Great Hall. Sure to talk to is Katharina Dajamala and Yamiyanja are in conversation with a man wearing an ornate helmet similar to the character to the arm that the Red Warden with the party has recovered. The stranger, the stranger notices the party and shouts, That's them! Those are the cruel brigands who murdered, murdered mother and held me against my will until I escaped. You must slay them before they kill us all! As uh, soon as you talk to thing, Katharina gazed at the party in shock. Yemiandra draws her sword and with an incriminate cry of rage charges at the party only to stumble over Dazimaru's outstretched leg he goes flying across the floor. As Yemiandra collects her wits, Dazimaru turns to the party's accuser and says lazily, I beg your pardon, dear brother. But your accusation seems a trifle far-fetched. These champions, however, on clout, the Dimiao, have been considerably aid to the family recently. What possibly motive could they have in giving us mother's arms and rescuing father if their intent was to destroy Skull Craig? The stranger responds, Dazmala, you are not thinking deviously enough. They have and dangle their way into your heart so that they can grab all four arms and slay us all in one fell swoop. You must give me the other arm now that I may slay these impostors and defend Skull Craig from their cohorts, for I am your eldest brother, and now I am the two world warden. Dazma responds, Bruderon, you are not making much sense. If the so-called imposters were really behind Mother Slaying and your capture, they would already have all four of the Red Warden's arms. They would have no need to turn these arms over to me or my sisters to assail us. And they certainly wouldn't have needed to hold Father as hostage for the return of the arms they gave us in the first place. I'm afraid that your tale seems somewhat implausible. And I think it's time we drag that fancy helmet off your head and see what's hidden underneath it. Katriando and Yamriando nod slowly in agreement with Dajamala, and so do talk this way to then approaches Vinaran. Realizing his scheme is undone, Vinaran draws his weapons and attacks his family. A horde of chittering creatures emerge from the walls and rafters to aid him. Alright. Oh boy. So final fight, finally. So what do we got here? Really? This guy this is gonna be easy. What kind of bats are these are regular bats, right? Yeah. Lots of enemies, but they're all uh, pretty easy. This is gonna be the easiest boss fight of the game, it looks like, unless there's multiple multiple uh, phases to it. Uh, Alright, let's uh, do um, Fireball here. Lots of bats and lots of Mobats. Oh, 
attacked my mages. So let's cast hold person on that one dude that's uh and you Oh, this guy is an undead creature. Uh, this guy is definitely high priority here. Uh, definitely gonna do it with magic. Final fight with a monster that level drains you. That's kind of nasty. Well, this fight is definitely going to be long. Oh, I can't cast them I'm surrounded by Mobats. I uh, could use... Um, got the Wand and Magic Missiles. The whole person will probably won't work on this undead dude. So I need like a whole undead spell, which I don't have. So Kathy Undead is gonna be useless in this fight. spells here so let's just go and Magic missile. Oh, so many creatures. Ah, oh, Carmen is charmed. That's going to be a problem. I'm gonna cast a fireball somewhere. I need to get rid of some of these creatures.
Oh wow, flame strike on the uh Wow <laughs> Alright, let's uh take this guy out. Um, I got ice storm here. Get rid of some of these uh, creatures. So I need to uh, get in here and cast uh, Dispel Magic. Get control of Carmen again. Alright, now we just gotta clean these guys up. So we got rats and bats. Really? They're gonna surrender? The guards are surrendering? Oh, another ice storm. to hold monsters. Oh, you get things under control here now. Three out of four, I will definitely take that. Uh, it's time to clean up the bats. This fight. Don't know if I can win this fight. Alright. Uh. So what else? Uh well we can cast hold monsters here.
Oh, one out of four, that sucks. fight is definitely was not challenging although the uh, boss was interesting himself that uh, he's an undead dude that could uh, level drain you and charm you so, like a vampire sort of thing all right battle over yeah you know, 1105 and no treasure Lunette Boudouf comes in running in from the Great Hall and begins caring for the wounded. How can I aid you? Nobody is healed. What? Suddenly, the windows on the outer wall of the Great Hall shatter into bits of stained glass, and two dark figures just into the hall, cloaked in the shadow awe of ancient evil. As the party and the allies stand paralyzed by evil sorcery, one of the intruders begins to speak in a harsh, malevolent croak. The cub has found us, but no matter, we have ample time to reach our full strength. I think you will find the arms of the so-called warlord worthy of little use against the true masters of Skull Craig. Don't forget to introduce us. I am Kuzon, but my consort is. Mordroka, we are here to reclaim our home from the vandals who drove us out some years ago. There is no rush to leave, though. I hope that many, that many of you will be staying to dinner. And for some of the festivities, may linger for days. Kuzon on by our sightly and gestures to his consort. You step forward and begin making mystic gestures as she speaks softly to the empty air in a sweet, gentle voice, belied by the corrupt aura surrounding her. Vinder on the uh, you have not been dismissed. Please return at once. There is more business for your attention. As she speaks, the miss Colossus is in front of her. Suddenly, Vinder stands before her. Wodoka, clothed in shadow, he bows and tries to speak, but he cannot form words. Wodoka continues speaking. Take up the arms of the world wardens and slay your former kinfolk and the Lockleys. This seems to be a fitting way for you to redeem your recent failure. The arms levitate through the air to Vizodun, who grabs the we grasps the weapons and shield as the helm settles onto his head. He turns and shuffles towards his family. On leaden legs as Kuzazan and Wadorka stand impassively behind him. Suddenly, Lynette Benoff shrieks, No! and casts a spell before collapsing to the floor. As she falls, the arms fly away from Vinavand, and the party finds itself free of the terrible paralysis. The battle is joined. Alright, this one is like the real fight, right? Uh, more baths and oh boy! Oh yeah! 
Three vampires, that's gonna be a uh, nah, that should be nasty. Hello there, Lemon Juice 12, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is gonna be nasty. I got lots of fireballs, so. Fireballs, um, Ice Storm. More bats. Yep. Oh, nothing good here. Um. We would definitely get level drained here. Oh, Gold Moon Charm. That's not good. This is gonna be bad. Well, Gene only has 21 health, so uh, that's not good. Alright, last fireball. Storm here. So we could uh, stop her casting. Um, let's put it here, I guess. Charm person is gonna kill me here. Charm person is gonna kill me.
We're going to die. Uh, I could try a whole monster. Maybe we can hold these uh, vamps. Um. Oh, you can use hold monsters against these guys. No, I don't want to pull this off though. No, I'm not sure I can pull this off here. of lightning. Oh, immune to lightning. Oh, no, better for next time. Well, we are pretty much dead here. We are pretty much dead. We let both rises from the floor and again offer support to the party. Alright, uh, so uh, here. Uh, maybe we have a chance to uh, fix this up. I saved it. There has been a great celebration and moment that the party realizes that Skull Craig has been saved. And Katarina, Dajamar, and Yamiandra look on so the toy styles the arms away for safekeeping. As the revelers disperse, Wardor approaches the party and says, We have much to discuss. Meet me at my quarters after you have rested and refreshed yourself. One of the parts leaving the great hall to the group of servants cleaning up and repairing the damage wrought in the, in the climatic struggle. The next day the party strolls up to the red wooden suit to see Modell. Alright. I'm not sure what we're gonna be then. Model is here, accompanied by Katharina Dajamala, Yami Andra, Sergi Toit, and Lina Budouf. He greets the party effusively and then begins a more serious speech. My children, my advisors, and I have been discussing the future of Skull Craig. Our conversations have gone around in circles, but they have returned to one salient observation. Not one of my surviving children has the right combination of honor, wisdom, and courage to rule Skull Craig. Well, for a long duration. They are all good and noble offspring, but they all were not well suited to this task. We are in agreement, though, that in this room there are those 
to bravery, loyalty, and sacrifice. I demonstrated that they are well suited to succeed. All of them start well as Red Warden. I refer to you, dear friends. We are all greatly indebted to you, and we feel that it is a fitting honor for the rest of your number to serve as Red Warden. Will one of those among you agree to serve faithful as Red Warden? To defend Skull Craig and to faithfully protect the merchants and travelers who journey through Dragon Jaw Mountains. Yeah, he hates his kids. Indeed, he does. Ah, yes. Who would come to Road Ward? Well, come and do it. So, Detroit presents the arms of the Road Warden and Luna Buffy perform the ritual to make Carmen the new Road Warden. Cheers echo throughout the keep as word spreads of the events. Modell bids the party farewell, saying, Many thanks for all you have done for Skull Craig. I am departing now, for I long to return to my kingfolk in Mars Member by the sea. Katharina thanks the party for its service, saying, I must depart now, for I seek guidance as I delve deeper into the divine mysteries. May fortune smile on on all your days. Dalzamar wishes the party well and remarks for the relief it is not to be responsible for a hole full of ignorant louts that wanders off in his pocket stuffed with curios liberated from around the keep. Now we did not talk about how much the job pays. That's really the most important part, right? Yariandra also bid the party farewell saying it will be mighty boring around here now that our evil foes are defeated. I'm off to find a good use for my sword. Keep your blade sharp and noses clean. The mystery stranger appeared in mouth. Ye have done well, as I can you would. Your adventures here is complete, but many new adventures await ye throughout the Forgotten Realms. Alright, the end. We won, even though we really didn't win, we won. So yeah, so that was definitely an interesting module. Hey, thank you for the 300 bits. So we won, even though we really didn't win that final fight. I guess there's a bug in the module, or uh, since we had our guys got charmed, those who survived, Save the day. Yeah, he has a desk job now. Exactly. Yeah, Carmen has a desk job. So yeah, that's the end of uh, Unlimited Adventures. So uh, that is definitely the worst, the worst of the uh, Gold Box games. But the storyline itself was uh, interesting. I guess more interesting than the uh, normal Gold Box games that we normally play. Uh, yes, it's on my uh, list. Oh, no, my list on the, uh, it listed as a Chakram Points Reward. So if you do, do the, uh, I think it's the custom map option, you can specify that we uh, <coughs> play a stream of uh, of uh, a, 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 a Unlimited Adventures uh, Go Back Gang for 5,000 points. So that is an option. The more you can choose to uh, have me play another uh, Unlimited Adventure uh, game. So uh, if I, as soon as, as those requests come in, uh, we will uh, process those. But, um, I will not be playing any, any right off the bat though. So we'll be playing, um, what are we playing next? Yeah, we'll be playing Wind Commander Armada on Friday, which will be a uh, one stream game. So it, it kind of like, um, it has like a gauntlet mode and it has a very, very, very simplistic um, 4X game. So it has, uh, it's interesting, but it's very uh, not very deep. 
So we'll be playing that on Friday night at 7 p.m. As well as uh, we'll obviously be continuing our Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough on Saturday and Sunday, uh, starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I think that will be about it for tonight. Yeah, the four X minus the three X. Yeah, kind of suck, kind of like that. The uh, hundred blow. But the th neat thing about uh, One Command Armada is that you can actually fly the uh, ships. So uh, you can actually go into combat and stuff, which is kind of cool. So yeah, if you're not already, uh, please do feel free to follow me here on Twitch and Twitter and Discord and all those fun things. Yeah, no problem, no Gavin and everyone else. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, let's um, let's go and see if uh, there's anybody here who can raid. See who's on here. Since I normally don't stream on Monday. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's uh. Let's go give Dr. DCDS a raid. He's playing some Avanum, Escape from the Pit, which is another uh, turn based uh, RPG. So let's go down and uh, check that out. So, thanks again, uh, everyone, for coming, and I will catch you guys all again on Friday night. For some uh, one commander, a murder.